Okay, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello. So we normally, oh my gosh, we normally record on the hour. And it is 51 minutes after the hour. So it took us all this time. <laughs> so if you just want to hear some two sisters talking, I'm in Texas, even though I look like I'm in Spain. And she's out of the country, someplace mysterious. She may not want to tell us yet until she comes back. I don't know. Um, so it took us 51 minutes to figure this out, people, and um, it's looking kind of ghetto, but you know what? We're going to do what we're going to do. Can't say we're not consistent because we've been trying for 51 minutes. So we decided to go to, uh, what, what is this called? This is Google Meet because Zoom was moving slow. Uh, YouTube kicked her out. YouTube wasn't acting right for me. I'm in my father's apartment. The, uh, what's it called? Um, the internet just didn't want to work for me. So anyways, right. welcome to Connecticut Housewives. We're, and we're Housewives of Connecticut. So we're actually Connecticut Housewives on vacation because I'm not in Connecticut and she's not in Texas. Ooh. But I'm in Texas and she's somewhere mysterious. <laughs> we'll keep that a mystery till she returns next week. Actually, yeah, you'll be back and I'll be traveling on that day. Oh my goodness. So it, it won't actually be back to normal until we, because I'm not sure what we can do for next Tuesday. Unless we do it really, really early. But I'm Nubia, as you can see on the bottom and of the screen. I, and I am Ajua with a lot of A's. With a lot of A's. And actually, <laughs> let me see if I move this over just a little bit so we can see that long name of, of yours on your screen. That's not... Uh, anyway, just take her word for it. She's Ajua. So we tried... We tried... So we've tried Zoom today. We're now on Google Meets. We tried Restream... We tried live YouTube. Y'all, y'all can't say we haven't been trying. That's all I have to say. Cause, yes. Um, yes. Actually, it let me in and it said that I was waiting for you when I went to um, YouTube. Uh-huh. So I'm like, okay, she's going to come in. She's going to accept me any moment. And, and like, then when hey. I went to YouTube, it says, you're not, allowed, you're not allowed to live stream at this moment. I'm like, so, and I tried that retry button like three times. So, mm -hmm. you know, people, we're just going to attribute it again to being over 40 <laughs> and over and over. <laughs> I watched a different gentleman on YouTube. He said, just say over 40 because that covers everybody. You know what I mean? So actually, 40 and under, 40 and over, you're all welcome. Under, over. Exactly. Um, so tell us, how has your, your respite been? I mean, so I'm, I'm over here. I had dinner with daddy the last couple of time, nights and he should be getting a haircut by Friday. And Did I you also book an appointment? I booked the appointment. Of course, when right. you call them, they call you right back, and you're in the car. I'm like, I am in the car, so I can't talk to you right now. You know what I mean? It's like I'm glad I'm glad for the quick response, but I'm like, I was just in the building. I am in the car. I'm following my father to the appointment, so I can't talk right now. So that's what I did. I went there, and it was on time. You would have been so proud of them. I got there like around one one ish because I think I went around about maybe missed my turn or who knows, but I got there before one thirty, and then I got there just enough time to see the van pulling up. And then I went inside oh, and I'm like, how does this work? I think my father's van is here. And then daddy was in yeah. um, lunch. He was having lunch. Yeah. <laughs> he was just chilling. Um, his three yeah. partners that usually have lunch with him, they weren't there. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so they got them all strapped in, chained in, suited up, booted up, chained to the bottom of the floor. <laughs> He is secure. He was that ready to go. I mean, you know, if that thing, thank God vans don't turn over, but if that van had turned over, he would have been securely upside down in the car. Like he That's, would have been good. <laughs> they strapped him in. <laughs> Wheelchair is, is buckled down. You know? Um, so I, I love that part of it. So, and yes. then as soon as he took off, I ran back to the car, your car, and I yes. got in and I followed him all the way there. You know, okay, I don't want to say the name of the hospital, but... He said the name that starts with an A. And then when I looked down oh. at the envelope, it said veteran something. And so I got freaked out. I'm like, is it the same place? Yeah. I'm like, should I drive up beside him at the stoplight? Or should I jump out the car and say, are you going to the right location? Because I had programmed in the A hospital. But yeah. he actually, I saw it ahead, but he actually went around a certain way. He went around a different way, not the location that you showed mm -hmm. me. But we ended yeah. up, then when we got there, he pulled up. I said, is this the right, same place as the other place? And he said, it's the same place. I said, okay. Because I was like, we was about to be 20 minutes late because we were early, you know? <laughs> um, and then we got out 
and I had to go park the car because I swear to goodness, y'all, yes. if y'all ever been to Disneyland or other one of those places, the parking lot at a veterans hospital in the state of Texas is like going to Mars. So, <laughs> so he was at the he was at the front gate, and I was parked all the way down in Egypt. Timbuktu. Okay, Timbuktu. So then I'm trying to like. And then, you know, you bring, you bring your bag of goodies because you think you're going to be there forever. So then, you know, my bag weighed oh, probably 20 pounds and I, and I couldn't use this arm, right? I couldn't, couldn't use this arm. So I had to use, I had to use this arm. And I'm like, why didn't you put this? Because then you don't mean to start off that. So then I get all the way there and your father's not at the, he's not at the front entrance. So, but he took him all the way down to the department where he needed to be. But I'm frantically looking all around in all the lobby areas. And I said, then I had to go to the window. I said, well, where do, where is this department at? And he, he told me, and I went down there. And then I, the guy, he sees me go down the hallway. <laughs> and he's waving his hands like, hey, remember me? And I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> you know, we can't even make this stuff up for real. Like, you know, what do, what do you say? So, no, so one day you didn't want to talk to me when I called him. I'm like, hey, how's it going? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was that, and then, you know, we're creatures of, ha- you know I'm a creature of habit. If anybody yes. I, look, I eat at 6 p.m. I just do, I'm just routine. And so, the fact that I knew that I had to do my Sunday analytics, which I, I called it Sunday analytics on Monday, because it didn't come out on, on Sunday, because I couldn't figure out the internet. So, I ended up going to, like, at and On the way to the hospital, we passed the place that we have our uh, our mobile service from, and I made a yeah. note of it. And so after yeah. Daddy had his appointment, got in the van, I saw him strapped down, buckled in, ready to go. The van took off, and I went back in, tried to find our acupuncture acupuncture spot. They they cleaned up. It's not there anymore. Remember we walked around the corner in that other building next to it. It's downstairs. Well, before it's downstairs. It, well before I don't remember us taking the elevator. No, we actually, that, that was just to, to sign us up and get us going. But they weren't there anymore. The whole area is cleaned out. There's not even an information center. The, the desk is empty. Yes, but they have a second desk. If you go, if you had gone to that desk and said, hey, where's the acupuncture? They would have sent you downstairs. But there was nobody there. It was a ghost town. The first floor was ghost town. It must have been late. Well, it was after four o'clock by the time. But I mean, okay, Dad, Daddy's female doctor is the best, the best bedside manner. She doesn't rush you yeah. out. And by the time the van came, that's what happened. By the time the van came again, and of course, your father wanted to sit outside. I said, "He's trying to warm up." I know that he had his sweater on, and I said, "Daddy, yeah. we can sit in the lobby because you know if you come from the main building into the next building, the mm-hmm. the doors are open and closing, so it's warm." He said, "No, uh, uh-uh, uh, out there." Like that's like living. That's like being in the fiery pits of hell. I was like, it was a hell. It's one hundred and one degrees in Texas, and my father said he wanted to stay outside. I wanted him to warm up, but I think Texas. Y'all gonna have to forgive me, but Texas is just for sinners. I'm sorry. That's like that's like practicing for hell. <laughs> I know. It's like practicing for hell. Okay, it's even hotter than Africa, and Africa's on the equator, right? Right there. Africa's right there. Okay. AC is, is, is our jam. Honey, your okay. your daddy and I, we sat outside waiting for that van for more than 15 minutes. Because obviously, after we hung up with you, and, and okay, I went to the bathroom, then I wheeled him to a certain spot. Yeah. Honey, it, by the time I headed back into the building, it was 4 o'clock-ish. So, okay, so his appointment was probably 2, 2.30 to maybe 3, 3.30. So that makes sense, 4 o'clock-ish. But by the time the van came... It wasn't that long, but I tell you what, all I know is hot heat and H E L L is is hot. Oh, and then I it, park <laughs> him. I go out there and I stay with him for a little while, and then when I start to warm up and the and the internal you know heater is, is, is overheating, yeah, I actually put him in a spot where I can see him and I take myself back inside. Well, that's what I wanted to do, but your father was falling asleep. <laughs> He's in that wheelchair, like. <laughs> and I, I said, I kept saying, "Daddy, don't let anybody steal you." <laughs> oh, He's like. I, you know, I, I put him in front of the building and I think I went into the bathroom. And then when I came back uh-huh. out, I moved him again. But I'm like, don't let anybody steal you. Lock your wheels on your on your wheelchair. Yeah. Like, because you know, you're, you're a prized commodity right here. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to call this one elderly care. 
and I don't know. And coming out of the pits of hell, Lord Elderly Jesus. Care and I don't care. <laughs> Elderly care and, and coming out of the pits of hell. Because it's hot. 103 degrees. That's sinful. He, he is in, in, in his heat heaven. <laughs> and I say, okay, sometimes I waited out with him. I just, you know, I take one for the team. But other days I'm like, look. You can hear. I'm going to put you right here. I'm going to go inside. I can see you. We okay. And if you give him some soup or something while you're out there, like, or, or something to eat. Yeah, good. well, good. he had just finished eating and his, um, his custodial person didn't leave anything for him. And, and the uh -huh. custodial person <laughs> sent the money to our mother's account who didn't have a credit card. I'm telling you, that's why I was not I able to talk. But we, but we, but we gonna leave all that for a different. We gonna leave that for a different time and space. Cause I had a long list. I said my husband the list. I said no internet today, no internet internet yesterday, still no internet, and and yeah, and I went grocery shopping, so mommy had to pay for that for me. And then she, then we sat down in the store. We sat down in the store next to the models. Uh, what what do they call it? The people that have the the clothes on and they're dummies. The 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 mannequin. We sat down next to the mannequin, mm -hmm. and then she called the bank and said, "I need a new um pin number." So, guy, I love I love I would say gosh gosh people I love I love it taking care of the old, our older people in our families. Yes, no, no. So we, and then the thing is, they, sometimes they think they come in to, to give you respite and, and it's just tired. <laughs> tired. I got I got. Is there tape somewhere? So I <laughs> no so comment. I thought, I thought my I thought my daughter was going to is, was going to help her. Um, all you have to do is pop on to the. You have the same banking banking system. All you have to do is just put in the pin you want and use the card. No, I, I, I just thought that was funny though. The money went the money went to mommy and she had no card. So she did have a card. She had no I, pin. I she has a card house. with no pin number, so you might as well say there's no card. Okay, let's let's go back to let's get off of that. So yeah, I had a long list that I sent to my husband. I need you to pray for me for this, for that, for that, 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 and bitty 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 bat. <laughs> so yeah, so daddy's getting his haircut tomorrow, Friday, and I'm like, I don't know, I'm gonna have to borrow money from mommy to pay for his haircut because I had to go How back. I had to go back and get. I had I had to go back and get groceries for myself because I'm you know I am eating food. I mean, you know, my watermelon was gone and my um my rations of chia seeds and stuff was getting low, so I had to. <laughs> I was like, I said, so the lady called me three times today. Okay, we're gonna just go call. This is this is just senior care people and taking care of your loved ones. So the agency called me twice. I saw the phone number come over the screen and like there's no name on it. So let me just answer it. So she, she was nice. So she said, okay, you know, Mr. Fisher, I said, oh, well, we, we just want to cut all everything that's here back, just naked under here. And they're supposed to be doing that every week when they take every, when he has a shower, they're supposed to be shaving him. Did you know that? Right. No. So I said, well, I, I want him to get a haircut and I want you to clean him up. Of course, mommy, mommy, yeah, we'll get to the nails. Mommy said, no, shave it all off. I said, Daddy, what do you want to do? He said, she act like she asked, look at me. I said, well, Daddy, what do you want to do? He said, I don't want to shave it off. I said, so we're going we're gonna to clean it up clean. all the way as close as we can and all of this. But yes. this has got to go. All this has got to go from here. Just clean it up. Yes, especially when he doesn't want to, you himself. Or, or himself to do right. it. So Today is Tuesday. He's supposed to have a shower. Today is his bath yes. day, and all this should be shaved. I'll see you tomorrow because my appointment is at nine o'clock to go and talk about. Did you all people know about travel transferal? So there's a travel transferal date tomorrow, nine o'clock, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So I said, well, my my sister and I both we can't pick him up to put him in the car. So I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but you know, as long as I guard this arm, it's the class. Yes. But I think that they want us to, you know, I said, I told mommy she should come so she, I, she can record it so I can show you, right. but I'm not sure if they'll let us yes. do that. But anyway, and it's exactly. nine o'clock in the morning, which means I have to, that's early for me to, she's only across the street anyway, so I don't know to talk about what, anyway. So. But you have to let her know an hour in advance because, you know, she needs prep time. Yeah, she's pretty good. I mean, I said, please don't, I said, I'm going to sleep in tomorrow. Please, you know. <laughs> um, so. 
<laughs> y'all, y'all have to forgive us. We're over forty, so I'll, I don't have anybody holding up a cue card saying where we were left off. I don't know what I was talking about. You know, I got to hold up my own cue cards. Where was I? What did I leave off? <laughs> okay, Pop has a class tomorrow, nine o'clock. So the lady called me three times because she said that okay. for him to get a haircut is twenty dollars, and to add the shaving it might be an extra five dollars. I said okay. I said, but shave this off today. Well, everything from here back. And we'll do all this part on Friday. So he should be a clean, cleaned up man by Friday. I'm, I'm really excited about that. And um, so I'm not sure what the third, the third call was to remind me of the Monday of, of tomorrow's meeting, you know. Oh, Wednesday. For, yes, that's going to be the travel transfer class. Okay. And he also has PT at like 8 o'clock in the morning. Yes. So, I mean, I'm good. Eight and o'clock I, in the morning? 8 o'clock in the morning. I don't know how, or 8.30, I don't know. Um, Daddy's not like. They don't normally do him that early. I know. He is not a morning man. I want to see, I want to see, I'm going to get there on time so I can see this for myself. Because. Okay. (laughs) But another thing is, the physical therapy they have there is so neat, it's so interactive. Yeah, fun. It seems like it's fun. Yes, but you have to keep him motivated. Like, with one thing is he had to shoot. He had to shoot the animal, you know, like, like kind of simulate it because once it's kind of like a Wii. You know how you have the Wii oh, and right, you, don't, right. you don't have the controls or anything? Well, it's kind of like a Wii version of like physical therapy. That's just one portion of it. And I had never seen him do it, but I asked, can he try this one? And he did. And he's got to use his, use his hand to be able to, to gesture or whatever it is. Like say there's a, a deer they want you to shoot at a certain target, you know, at a certain area. And it will show you whether you got the whole deer, if you've got a portion of the deer, or if you've got no deer, you know? <clears throat> But it's, it's, it's getting those arms moving because body and motion stays in motion. And because he doesn't have a lot of motion mm-hmm. all the, with his arms and his legs, he tires easy. Mm-hmm. You know, he's tired, he starts out tired, but he tires even more mm-hmm. when he's actually doing something. But to see him go in there, you'll, I, I hope you see it. He'll go in there and he'll at least make the effort to do the arm and the leg motions, like, like bicycle motions, you know. And it may not register because of the fact that he's moving so slow. He's moving. Right. He actually, oh, mom, mom was saying that she saw him for the first time in a long time use both hands to eat. So, so that was yes. good, you know, and he yes. pulled himself up twice in his walker from the wheelchair to get to the bed. So, yes. you know, I love it. Mommy's like, aren't you going to sit in the chair for, you need to sit in the chair for a little while so your food can digest. He said, nope. <laughs> I'm like, mommy, he's 83. If and you were not the boss of him, you know, I, I, uh, mommy, when you watch this, I didn't say it. She did. I love you, mom. <laughs> we, we know you care. You you are the lady that will, will give the shirt off your back to anyone. We know that when you care, you are you are you passionate, are passionate, passionate carer. <laughs> yes. You know, so don't, you know. Long story short, is you know, we, we we're thank you, we're thankful for the for the for the gusto and for the passion yes. for the passion the zeal you the have zeal. For, your, for your family your whole family including yes. mr fisher yes i mean yep um so so yeah so we talked to her, the, the lady daddy's all squared away with that and um yeah so i so i almost wanted, wanted to offer him something to eat but then the van came and i'm like okay we you know we're just trying to figure out the whole that would have been difficult as far as where to get him some soup and how to get him back in the van and whatever, whatever, whatever. So, but by the time I got there, after I went to look for the acupuncture thing where the floor was, you know, everybody vanished, but it was after four o'clock. Um, and then I went back, then I drove to my place to get the internet minutes, which my, I can just imagine my kept my, my, uh, laptop right now, the minutes are probably going. <laughs> Cause so I added it to my, to the account. And, um, yeah. and then of course, I think I got something to eat next door, which, you know how, when I'm, when I came in April or whenever I'm here, we drive by the pho place and pho is yeah. my favorite. It was right next door to the pho. So I'm like, oh, I'm going right next door. And even if I don't eat it tonight, cause I already had leftover soup, uh, salad from the day before. Um, yeah. I'm going to get me some pho. I love pho in every state, every country. Mm-hmm. So, and then, then I went back to daddy's place. And he was finishing up dinner, and I, you know, got to see all his three three people at the table. They all say goodbye when they leave, but Daddy's like, "I'm out. Let's go back to the room." <laughs> <laughs> I keep waiting for him to be like, "Bye, Charlie. Hey, Dave. See you later. Yeah, hey, Doug. <laughs> see you at breakfast." <laughs> He's still in. Get me out of here, mode. <laughs> yeah, like, why am I here? Like, I don't belong here. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I love it. So, the guy, the, the guy to the left of Daddy spilled all of his, his the, the rest of his Coca Cola, his his soda, and and so we, I used Daddy's napkin to wipe it up. And that guy, he was eyeing it. There was that much left in the um. I said, "Lady, oh excuse me, we need a napkin over here." There was that much Coca Cola. He's like, he's like, I'm drinking the last of this Coca Cola. He's like, <laughs> and then the guy on the right side, he the, and goodbye, guys. Just this is just uh, senior citizen people, okay? So they're in the nursing yeah. home, the the thing, and the guy on the right hand side, very animated, very friendly. I met his daughter and his girlfriend because he's just not my girlfriend. She's my friend. She's my friend. And the daughter says, it's his girlfriend. And, uh, he's so funny. Yeah, he is. She's so cute funny. with her little Spanish accent, with her little red hair. And she comes in with her nails uh-huh. and her stuff done. And like, uh-huh. she, always, she always comes looking so She ladylike. does. So, she does. So lovely. Yes. And and she's, got wonder, she's from Panama. She's got a wonderful, uh-huh. wonderful demeanor. Demeanor. She you does. Know, I, I just love talking to her all the time. So he was trying to show us some pictures. I guess he has a, a granddaughter or something like that. He says, yeah, I got to get out of here and go home because I got to go take care of my, my little cute one. And his, daughter, yes. his and his son was looking at me like, "That's not gonna happen. <laughs> That's not happening." <laughs> I know he, he got hit. And the thing is, he got hit by a car. And when he told me, I was like laughing because I thought he was kidding because he's right. always joking around. Right. No. Right. He he, he, really, he really got, got hit, hit by a car. car. Right. He tells us every day. He tells us every day at dinner. Yeah. Oh my God! Forgive me. Oh, I know because because you know he's like no really I got hit by no I got hit by a car mom because mommy's like no. <laughs> And, and because he jokes around so much, I thought I truly, truly thought he was kidding. Mm-hmm. And all I could do was like and repent immediately when I realized right. he was actually telling the truth. Right. And, like, he, and he looks great. But he, 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 fell out, he, he rolled out of his bed the other day. So we won't, we won't name. Look, these things can happen at any nursing home, people. So it's yeah. just nursing home stuff. And he's at a very nice nursing home. And they take care of him. Um, so the, the, the gentleman to daddy's right, he fell out the bed. And so he was sitting, sitting at lunch the whole day yesterday, Sunday, and he was holding his ribs. And his daughter's like, Daddy, what are you doing? And he's like, it, you know, it hurts over here. But they had uh, an x-ray technician come in because I guess they have a, a, a traveling van. Yes, Nothing, does. no scars, no bruises, you know, or anything. So he's still holding. So when he got ready to finish yesterday, he said, bye, everybody. You know, bye, goodbye to all his friends at the table. And Daddy's looking at him like. And then he wasn't holding on to his ribs, but he went to stand up out of his chair like he was going to walk to his room. And I said yeah. to his son, I was like, Right. And he's like, Daddy, Daddy, no, Dad, no. I don't know what he calls his father, but he's like eased him back down into the chair because I'm like, if you just fell out the bed the other day, sir, you, know, risk, yeah. you don't need to be walking. So right. And sometimes and people night, forget. His son doesn't usually come during during uh, during the meal time. That's why his girlfriend does, and and his daughter. She's on vacation. His daughter in law. She's got a daughter that comes on on the weekends from out of state. So right. I think it's amazing. Oh. And yes, out of state. And then he's got uh, then he's got a daughter in law that, that stays with you know that sits with him, but but the girlfriend comes every day. Yeah, every day. She's on vacation she's, though. Oh, she's on vacation. That's why they were yeah, and so that's why the son was there on on Monday. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. And so he and, does get a little testy if his son doesn't doesn't show up because his son is like you know in the area. Oh. So yeah, but but he's the sweetest man ever. Yeah, they're nice. And then the the gentleman, uh, his son, reached over to shake my hand. He said, "Oh, my family talks about your family all the time." Like. <laughs> Like you guys are so pleasant. Like, oh, thank you. We just like to talk. If you if you can't tell. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Wait, and the guy, the guy to the left of daddy, yeah, who spilled his soda yesterday, he keeps giving mommy compliments on her hair. <laughs> oh, this is how this is how he does it. But but it sounds it sounds like I don't know. He sounds like some kind of Louisiana like Geechee Cajun. He's, he doesn't really talk. The guy, guy to the left? He doesn't really talk. The guy, or the guy directly in front of Pop. The guy directly in front of Pop, yeah. Oh, he okay. look, he's all about he's all about his business. He's trying to get all the food in and all the drinks in. Yeah. He ain't trying to talk, okay? I'll talk to you when I'm finished because And then he says goodbye <laughs> when he's done, but he ain't got time. He's like, look, <laughs> we on a schedule. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lord. Uh-huh. Yeah, I tell yes, you. Andy. I mean, this is probably a good time to say, reflecting back on da- some of Daddy's. Look, if anybody's out there from Netflix, or uh, what was that girl? What's that girl channel? The the one that goes twenty four hours li- Lifetime. L L L M N. Is that what it's called now? I never, I never had had it. Anyways, it's the Lifetime channel. 
I tell you what, when he first got here and my sister put him in, we, we picked the nursing home together and my father got a, a speeding ticket, basically a warning for driving his scooter too fast. Okay. There's a thing. Okay. Two or three times, four times. Okay. It's a thing, people. When you're elderly people, like, look, my father was like Harley Davidson guy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You ain't holding me back. I got somewhere to go in this nursing home. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, he, um, yeah, three or four citations for driving his scooter too fast in the hallway. And then not all that, but my sister called me and, uh, how do you order food from the nursing home when you ain't got no, you ain't got no cash, you ain't got no credit card, right? Sister, say something, sister. This is correct. You are, you, you can't make this stuff up. Cannot make it. Look, first of all, this is too much. This, this material is too good. Okay. Tyler Perry, you need to just call us because we know elderly. You don't know elderly. Okay. We know elderly. All right. He said, well, he just gave it to me. I'm like, excuse me. And then he, he got on his scooter, went to the front door of the nursing home and received his goodies. Okay. Which was probably popcorn and some Gatorade and probably what else? What? Candy. Candy. Soda. All, all of the, the runaway from diabetic stuff. That you should not have? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. But when he first got there, after being there for a couple days or so, he hit every single bowl. Okay, you got diabetics and old people when you fly, okay? He hit every single bowl that wasn't attended by a nurse. Every wing, not just every bowl. Okay, every, every wing. wing. Yeah. Of the facility to get their stats. Yeah, and then... And then go, oh, Mr. Fisher, hi, Mr. Fisher. I'm thinking, no. Wait, so then my sister gets a phone call. That my father is diabetic. His his sugar levels is like 600, 700 off the level. Like, like this man is still alive. I'm like, do you want us to have to put a trick here to like keep you to resuscitate you? Like, what's going on? What 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 what's going on? The trick is actually for breathing. But I know, but I was trying to. We were trying to like scare him into like not eating the candy. Yeah. Like like mm-hmm. wanting to live. Like, do you want to live? And that was like last year and a half ago. So the man got nine lives, okay? Nine, 10, 11, 12 lives. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, if we see a movie, this, 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 look, my voice right now, I'm saying it's copyrighted, okay? <laughs> but the other thing is, you know, they let him outside on the porch. And he waited for all the attendants to go and he wanted to see what was at the end of the lane. So he drove his scooter. The lane. No, no, not lane. Wait, wait, he drove to the end of the driveway, the, 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 the street, to the main street. So like a half a like half mile, quarter mile down. Thank God his battery didn't die. And he just was sit on the side of the road watching the traffic. Like, well, I, I remember when I used to drive that car. You know. He went to the lane, end of the st- to the road, to the intersection, to the edge of the intersection. And was just sitting the there. The intersection is like a major intersection. Two-way Four lane highway. Yeah. In Just that little town. Watching the traffic. So I, I, thought, I, I was convinced that he was trying to um trying to, to unalive me. <laughs> not himself, because he loves life. <laughs> so so you you can't just get away with something like that. So my father had so, a you know, so, well, so wait, let's back up though. Because they the only reason why they were knew knew that he was actually gone. And down the road was because one of the one of the, the and, CNAs or one of the nurses was pulling in for a shift and saw him sitting there watching the cars go by, watching all the cars go by. <laughs> and in a panic, she's thinking, "Oh my gosh, what is he doing out here?" So I get a panic phone call. This leads to the, my father coming back in and them having a meeting with me. And that was the second and, time there was something, something, something out on the premises. Let's just say second time is copying. Escape as an escaping, and he had to put a wonder guard on. They had a, they put a wonder guard on him. A wonder guard is a brace that they put around your ankle, like you're in prison, because you cannot stay within the grounds. The boundary. The, the grounds. You know, it's okay if you're riding around the, the facility on your scooter, but when you actually leave the facility, 
now it's a liability not for not, not just for your your loved one but also for the, the, the facility the, the facility so what do they call so, when you, what, what do they call that a, a leg anklet what do they call it when you when you come up when you're in prison and they put those things on your leg is a certain i don't know but in a nursing home it's to, called a wonder guard wonder guard i'm wonder. gonna have to google it y'all and i'm gonna know why they have to guard him from himself yeah 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 so i mean he was and, at the end of the road with his scooter thank and then it was an hour away so when i go see, when i went to go see him oh an hour away from I, you yeah your your house yeah. I knew if I go to see him at, 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 say, maybe at lunchtime, that I knew that I probably wouldn't be leaving because I, I tried to make a whole day of it. So if I'm not there for like four to, to six hours, then I feel like I haven't spent enough time with my father. You know, so if I'm getting there at three or four o'clock, I don't leave there till like 10, you know, I get home around 10, 11 o'clock in, in the evening. So I said, this is definitely not going to work. First of all, like he's doing things. I, I come, I was coming like two to three times a week because it was an hour away. And that's an hour there, an hour back. Um... But it got, I started getting weary after the first, you know, eight months. <laughs> so, but, but let's just say that after the, the, at 10 months, I took them out anyway, because it was just too much. Um, they were doing great. And it's not fun to have an anklet on at, at, at a senior, at, you're a senior. <laughs> as soon as you get me in the door, the door will beep. So that's not great. And um, because he was eating so much sugar. The, his sugar could, could not be controlled without having excess amount of, of insulin being given to keep it down. But if you just keep the, the sweets and things away, sweets and sodas and chips and all, well, they said, well, they, they, they can't tell them no. And that's the crazy so, thing. I mean, they have rights, so, but what, a right to just drive yourself right into diabetic ketosis? I don't know what, <laughs> diabetic, you know, coma. coma. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, so... They so, did their yeah, best. Well, it's hard to control, uh, you know, a, you know, independent man who's used to doing, you know, grown enough to do whatever you want to do. I mean, you know, exactly. But exactly. he, he mean, just went over eighty three, so we're praising God for that. And um, hey, and he's kicking the strong. He's looking good. You know, he needs. I'd like for him to. We I'm, we were both. All of us would like to have see him use his legs a lot more, but to see him stand up from with his um, walker and pull himself up out the, out the chair and turn a little bit yes. to get on the seat. I mean, that's right. more than I couldn't even have seen that in April. If you told me that this is where we'd be in August, I would be like, you crazy. Cause we were praying, like we were praying and praying and praying like, Lord, is this the, is this the end? I'm not trying to be funny, but yeah, it, it was, was not looking good. Yeah. We, we had to trust God on that one. Yeah. So to we see him, like he's that. all feisty now, you know, talking to my mother, she's, she's just here visiting, you know, visiting in, but uh, he's oh, he's feisty. He's just feisty. He looks at me like, "Can you do something with her?" <laughs> but but she lifts his spirits, you know. Yeah, and yeah. and uh, he knows even now that she still cares. Like yeah. like, you uh, know. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So. Yeah. So 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 okay. You know what? Gosh, that was. I, this is not showing us how long we've been on, but that was thirty minutes of of, of parent care right there. Oh um, my goodness! Seriously? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. So I just, I have, you're there. I, have you bought anything new since you've been there? A dress, a skirt, a towel, or something, something? Y'all, okay, okay. We, we were trying to, in the 51 minutes that we were trying to figure out how to get on, <laughs> I come on camera like this. My sister's button. I said, girl, this is not Mormon life. Can you unbutton, can you at least unbutton the top button? I mean, are we, I understand modesty. And I don't, I don't think I, I don't think I meant to say Mormon. I think I meant to say Amish, but you know what I'm saying? I was like, can you, can you just, just the top, just the just the top button, because I don't think you was. That's weird. <laughs> and I, you know, I, did, I did heed your, your, your yes, you did. request. Yes, you did. You look like you're breathing. You don't look like you're on the beach, but you, you're breathing nice. So I do have some, a couple of nice, I think like some weeks ago, I was saying that I bought, I love this stuff. Let's see. Can you see it? So this is. Oh, I, I just ordered that too. So I, my husband and I, we've been using this since, I don't know, since we came back from Tanzania. But it comes yep. with its own toothbrush, which is cool. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's nice and soft, the bristles. So and it comes with its own little cup. And it comes with a tongue scraper. And it comes with yeah. toothpicks and everything. I, I mean, this is like a fun... Mm -hmm. I mean, so that's one thing. I'm going to put this over here. And then... Okay, my screen is showing that I'm not actually in Spain, but I still love it. Lovely background. <laughs> and then my daughters are very sensitive when it comes to... You would feel like we're on a commercial and that like we're getting paid for these things. We ain't not yet. No. But my daughter is allergic to um, 
baking soda and different things and different chemicals that are in detergent, uh, detergent and or mainly deodorant. So this is Honey Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. So they got me on this. And so I'm this scared. is the only thing that doesn't irritate her skin. Hmm. And it comes from a um, nice little, this, now look, you're probably paying for the container. I wish I could repurpose this because it's, it's it an, hard plastic. Is it an antiperspirant? Um, it says, this is the deodorant antiperspirant stick. Wow. Yeah. But, uh, you have your glasses to see what's in it? Say again? Do you have your glasses to tell me what's in it? Uh, no, it this, everything is looking fuzzy right now to me. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I can reach over after. But uh, yeah. it is 1.7 ounces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's on Amazon. I tell you what, it works. It's hard to make your own if you can't use, um, if you're allergic to baking soda and certain things. So this works for her. But you know what? It's $40. But it lasts Lord, a long time. It is, but it lasts all year or whatever. So it lasts a long time. Um, okay. So what else do I have over here that I want to show? I think oh, that might have been, I had the hey, coconut. So you showed one. I want to show you, show you one. Okay. I was gifted this item Aww. from, from a sister that I used to garden. I, I still would like to, but I, I gardened with some of the sisters at my church mm -hmm. and she saw us out there and you know, like I say, it is Texas and it does get a little bit warm. A little so, bit. So she gifted, she gifted us with this little gadget and put it around and for those who are over 40 that need a little bit more air when you're outside and it's hot outside you know it's, this works perfect it's got a little button on it you just kind of give it a squeeze i hope i charge it good enough can you see the little thingies can you see the fans blowing no but this will give you can you hear it i think i could a, a mild yeah uh, hold it up higher that's cool oh yeah that's cool so yeah yeah Exactly. So it is cool. It keeps you cool. I just turned it up. I turned the volume up uh -huh. on it. Okay. The speed. Yeah. Yeah. I saw somebody so, with them at the hospital yesterday. It might look crazy, but you put that thing on your neck and you are cool all the live long day. Make sure you charge it up because there's nothing worse than pushing that button and you're not having a, a good charge. <laughs> but to have three, you know, a, a medium, a low, and a high on it. Oh, 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 grateful. Cool as a cucumber. So, I think thank you, Sister Jennifer. Oh, nice. She rock. There's one more thing that so, I can show you that I that I have. I'm stuck off the camera for a second. I hear it. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, oopsie, oopsie. Um, I think when I was in Jamaica, uh huh. This seems to be the last this last year time of travel, but I bought I I bought it. You know, how you buy something and you get home and you forget. That's what yeah. I do sometimes. And so okay. I, um, this is called Jamaican, Jamaican black castor oil with lavender mm -hmm. essential oil. Yes. Well, I actually put it on my feet, but it can I go in a little bit. It can go in a little bit toward you. Towards me. Yeah. Okay. That way you can see the little knob, knob, knob yeah, on the nozzle. Nozzle. Yeah. Yes, but wow. yeah. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, I bought this while I was up out there and, and, uh, All right. and look at you, it has a little Jamaican symbol on it. Me. Hmm. It has a smell. Smells wonderful, like la oh, like smells. lavender. It smells like lavender. I love lavender. Keeps all the mosquitoes and the ants and everything yeah. else away. So when it dies, yeah. like it's, it's also very calming. So before I got on here, <clears throat> I put on my little oils and my my coconut oil on my face. Yes. And I essential oil. Let's see. Oh, Ooh, there. yes. That's mine at home. Yeah. But yes. So yeah, it's Just good for mosquito bites. Me. So I put it behind me, my ears and put it on my little temples mm -hmm. here. Cause it's also yeah. calming and relaxing. What is that? So I'm glad you asked. This thing, <laughs> if you have if you have any kinds of pain anywhere that you can roll this thing on, I'm telling you it's heaven. So for me, I have neck pain. I take this, and I got this from, uh, believe it or not, a TikTok shop. Don't ask me where. I have not seen it since. But long story short was, it came right when I needed it. I said, Lord, I need some help here. I don't know what to do. It just hurts so bad. And voila, this popped up on TikTok. I said, you know what? This pain is, I thought it was hurting so bad that I thought I was having a heart attack or a stroke. It was just my muscles being that tight. Wow. That stress. So this gadget is amazing because you put it around your neck, and you can roll it. 
the road up and down. I know it looks painful. You can, you can squeeze yourself like a nutcracker if you wanted to a little bit. <laughs> Give it a little squeeze. Mm-hmm. Roll it up. I can put it on my arm. Use it on my arm. Mm-hmm. But can I just tell you, this thing relieves tension. Wow. Tension in your neck. So, like I say, it, sometimes you think, I don't know, about these things you see on, on the uh, internet. And, okay, well, I've never tried to but one, yeah. thing, one thing I have to say, if you if you order something from TikTok, man, if they're they're guaranteed to get it to you. Now, if you order something from from T, from the T E M U, you may not get it in the mail because I have paid for a couple of things and they have not come from T E M U. T E M U. I get it. I totally get it. But this, can I, I know this thing, honey. I know, right? Winning. I'm so grateful. It's like. You know, it was a point where I couldn't even move my neck, but I mean, barely even move it left and right mm. without excruciating pain. And now I'm like, oh, oh, peace to see that the Lord is good. This gadget <laughs> is, it, it does what it says it's going to do. All right. So I, I can't, I can't even tell you what the name of it, unfortunately, but all I know is wherever I got it from, I'm winning. <laughs> right. I got gotcha. you. I hear you. So, all right. So, you know what? Why is it that when we do, for some reason, today's going by really slow. It's only 33 minutes in. But, but wow. it, it I, is. That can't be right. Yeah. But I'm actually hungry. Actually, I can show you what I made for uh, for breakfast. I haven't really eaten yet. Yeah. But I have on my long. Oh, oh, people. So when I came from um, Connecticut, I have on my, I have a cute little dress that I bought from uh, from Target because my luggage got lost. Oh, Tarje. Oh, oh. And so, yeah, so I have on my little, my little white dress under here. And then, of course, I like to have yeah. my little long flowing thing. So that's what yeah, I have I on love today. that. So you can hear me. Give me a second. I'm going to get what I've made for breakfast. Okay. All right. And while you're doing that, I'm just putting my things back up so I can know where they are when I need them. Yes. So, are you sure it's only been 30 something minutes? I mean, well, my, 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 my that, what time do you have? I've got I've got one thirty three. So what time do you have? Twelve thirty three. Well, I can't. I'm not going to go by the time on the clock because by the time I push the press, by the time I push the record button, yeah. Oh, oh it's been forty two minutes now. So, okay. so look at this. I had to make myself a um, like a yogurt Ooh. parfait. So it's yogurt. Yes. It's chia seeds, hemp uh-huh. seeds, more yogurt strawberries and blueberries and then i'm going to put some add some pineapples in here oh snap that sounds yeah. delicious so i could blend it up and make it a smoothie but yeah but i'll probably just um eat it the way it is yeah uh-huh so i know that when you're on certain uh not dietary things but i uh, see i should have mixed them in because the, the i wanted to give the the chia seeds a chance to swell up yes you know Oh, so I also want to show you while, while I have you on here, I'm going to unplug my, um, yeah, I'm going to unplug my mouse and, and unplug my, my plug so I can walk around and show you the area, see that I have you on here. Can I just say, this sure. is my second room in the same, in this, in the same um, Complex. facilities, the uh-huh. same villa. Uh-huh. And I went from a, a, a little villa to a little apartment. And this reminds me of like a RIU or a, a, a mini sandals, all, all these mini, mini places, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I was, and also, um, if you have, what do you call those things I used to have? Uh, timeshare. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of a, of a mini timeshare. So I'm going to walk around just because it's so adorable. Okay. I wonder if I can. So sure, I don't know if I can do the last this. 15, the last 15 minutes. Oh, nice. Yeah. So that's the bedroom right there. And uh, let's see. I'm going to swing around this way. You can see all the lighting. But there's outside, I have a balcony with two little red chairs. Um, here's my little living room. Can you see the living room this way? Mm-hmm. Living room. I kind of reorganized mm. just just for our, you know, for our, our, our session today. Mm-hmm. But uh, it was a cute little refrigerator. Come on, refrigerator. Oh, cute is that? That's adorable, right? Two doors, so double double door. Yeah, refrigerator and freezer, tiny but cute. So it's it's just like any other timeshare where they have the little kitchenette. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I, I, you know, I love the fact they have the the whole knife block, and you know, if you go in here, they have the cups and the and the and the uh cups and glasses and things like that. That looks like Daddy's apartment. It does remind you of Pops' apartment, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that gas stove. Oh, I love the gas stove. Have you when used you, it? Um, I have not. I'm, go, I'm <laughs> getting ready to go down the road here. Eat. 
and getting ready to buff it out. <laughs> so, so, so you're doing. I have a, a friend, not a friend, um, but a, yeah, so like I said, Cadmus, a lady that I'm following. Her show is called Sing, Silver and yeah. Solo. So right now you're traveling sing, single, solo, silver and solo. You hear me? Did you? Yep. Okay. Traveling single. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's, it's like, this is like my little serenity now kind of place. I wonder if I can swing this thing around. I don't want to play with it. Okay. So I'm just going to keep carrying it around with my, with my noggin in the way. But look how, look at this bathroom. This bathroom is exquisite. Okay. I feel like I'm actually literally at home. Um, wow. shower. Nice. What? What? At the bathtub, Mom. Do you know that they don't, it's hard the to find... The bathtub, the bathtub. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to find uh, little so, Airbnbs and okay. stuff with bathtubs nowadays. Yes. So just like at home, you see how they have the door that separates the toilet oh my gosh. from the bath area, like, like at my house? Yeah, in your house. Like, yeah, in, yeah, yeah in your house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't mind all my toiletries and stuff. Then they have a closet for you to iron it and keep your things in. And I said I was going to pack light, but that was like a tail from the bit. Yeah. So you know, <laughs> here, you come on around and it's more stuff. I know it's not that neat. Sorry. Don't mind my. Don't it does mind look my neat. It does look neat. Yeah. It does look neat. <laughs> it does look neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this I in this lovely place and I'm just saying it's so so peaceful I do have a dog that, that, that barks if someone comes around but in the evening time but you don't hear him during the day mm -hmm. you hear him for a short period of time so I cannot complain about that either mm -hmm. so this is a little area that I'm in I, I had it I could not leave here without sharing but can I just say I want one of these for my home look at the look at the spout on that mm -hmm. wonderful bathtub yeah and you can spray with a sprayer as well come on and then again, they have the audacity to have the same exact thing in the shower so <laughs> loving that so so it's it's like okay so I, you know you love your family and everything but boy you come here it's like woo, 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 woo. hard to go back <laughs> so soon <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Anyway, it's lovely. Oh, I'm gonna see if I can show you the ocean from here. Okay. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, okay. But the oh, ocean, honey, the oceaning. See it? Way back there. Yes. Okay. So, so so grateful. I could go outside also, but you know, I know we're short for time. I, I just wanted to show you my lovely area. The like, comment, and su subscribe and share. Are you still there? I, I, you're um, what's it calling? You're you're, you're buffering. For, I am truly relaxed. Mm -hmm. Thing. Okay, she's buffering right now. Um. Uh, okay. So I do have a I do you know I'm, I'm praying to the Lord. I'm I'm uh, kind of glitchy right now. Okay, you you're buffering. You were buffering. Are you still there? I'm still here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna close it out because you're buffering, and it's getting close to the one hour mark. So that happens when you're happens when you what? When you're out of the country, sometimes. Yeah. It happens when you're in the country. Yes. So, well, anyways, we had a nice session, and hopefully, uh, you know, our people who who you normally follow us on Tuesday will see it. Usually, you have people that will jump in and jump out, but um, we'll just it'll just do what it does, and we'll put in their um, parent care, right? We talked mostly about parent care, and he's getting ready to be transferred from. You're frozen. Hope I'm not frozen. Also, <clears throat> you're frozen a little bit. Okay, so we'll right. call this parent care, uh -huh. and, and Daddy will be coming out in the next week or so or less, uh, and, and, and transitioning to your house. And God bless you, and God be with you. That's gonna. Yeah. Oof. I'm hoping that you you hire some help because that um you you gotta need to take a, a take a, a vacation at least every quarter, once a quarter honestly not not once a year because that gets too built up and yeah. and um so we it thank does. you guys and we thank you guys I, I totally agree we, yes I, we thank you guys for your patience and totally following agree. us on this that journey for today doing and, in that choppy water what okay she's talking about choppy water Audrey you stay on for a bit Adjua. 
And we're closing out. I'm going to stop the recording. And thank you for watching. Peace and blessings until next week, which might have to be also at a different time because we're both out of country still. And then we'll be back to normal in two weeks. But thanks for joining us. Local Eastern Time, 1 p.m. And Central Time. And blessings. I'm not there yet. <laughs> she just did it for me. Uh, Central Time is 12 o'clock. But yes, like she said, peace, love, and blessings. Thank you for joining us. Nubia and Ajua out. All right. Your, your picture. <laughs> Thank you. I don't even know how to stop this thing. Here we go. <laughs>